Hi there, I'm Nutrix, and today we're talking about a new company called Safari Pedals. They're making software plugins that recreates or mimics or make you feel like you're playing with effects pedals. So, of course, we can think that effects pedal are main f or are targeted to guitar player and bass player, and but no, they're also for anybody who makes music, and I've been using a lot of them using synthesizers and drum machines, especially drum machines and synthesizers. There's Gorilla Drive, Time Machine, and Flamingo Verb. Let's just dive into them, play with them, hear what they can do. So the first one we're gonna work with is Flamingo Verb. You guessed it by the name Verb, it's a reverb. You have a drive in it. So if you want, you can also use it at distortion and not distortion, but to drive your sound and have it more oomph, I would say. There's a time, which is the length of your reverb. There's width, how wide and big your reverb is. There's a pre-delay on it. There's a high pass and there's a low pass. So let's just try this on a piano sound. I've got this piano here playing. Okay. Turn it on. So the drive. And the time. Up to four seconds. The width. How big the space is. Pre-delay from zero to, but to hear it, you need to hear the original one. Louder. Got a high pass. Let's go back to just hearing the sound we want. Now we just have the high frequency that we hear, or the other way around. This one's cool. Let's say I keep that for my piano. Let's stop the piano for now. Let's go listen to the bass, for example. I've got this bass here. I'm gonna try the flamingo verb also with this one. just use it for the drive itself. Just have like some space in it. Because there's the bass magic room. And then there's the, that's a giant kick. You can also oversample, oversample it, but it will take more CPU power. That's kind of normal. Okay, so that's the reverb. It's cool because you've got the low and the high pass to control and the pre-delay. And it has its own sound, so it's interesting. Let's turn it off for now and let's go to Gorilla Drive. Now, Gorilla Drive is an overdrive, basically. You have the input, the output, so you can drive it by pushing the input. And you have the tone, so there's a kind of a, it's kind of an EQ if you want. 
you got a bypass on it and you have the phase so you can turn up turn phase and change it so let's actually turn it on and see so that's with the bass drum now so if I have the drum let's go into the drum itself and I think I've got some here on the reverb so on the snare so if I play the drum it's an acoustic drum I've got here I've got the reverb turn it on look at these warp kind of snare reverb if I turn the just have the snare A nice sound to it. And again, just play with the sound. Sometimes just to create that room tone that you want in it. You got uh, Fuzzy Dream again. It's kind of weird. vocal, but who cares? You put it on what you want. A bit too big. Let's go back to the one I wanted. This was the snare whap. Keep it like that. Let's go look at the kick drum. Do we have something in the kick? Do we have something elsewhere? I don't think so for this one, but what I have though is on the master. Let's go back to the snare, turn it on, working on. Now I've got a time machine. Now time machine is something different. Time machine, I thought it would be a delay, but it's not. Time machine is a compressor EQ type of thing. Uh, I would say filter and compressor into a one box that mimics some pedals, I'm guessing, from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s are effects. And then by changing the, these, you're changing kind of the EQ filter sound. You're also changing the reaction because there's a compressor in it and you have a noise that you can put in. So we have that sound here. Let's turn it on. But we clearly hear, clearly hear the sound of it. So it really is a filter part of it because it opens up the high end, high end, just by playing with these different algorithms. Also compressor in it, if you push it. Bring you know, the oomph in it. You can bring also a noise floor. And sometimes, sometimes people will say, well, why do we bring a noise floor? Well, it might be part of the sound of some historical recording if you want. If you listen to some of the presets they have. And let's try the same thing, but with a electronic drum. So I'm gonna close this one. I'm gonna turn this one now on, and this is for 
electronic drum kit and it on. Now we get the 70s type of sound. Half compression. 80s. Fifties. If you don't want compression, you just want to filter the, the EQ that it creates to your sound. Even clips at the input because it's too filter does that to this sound. Get the noise floor. Listen to the presets now. That's it. That's the three plugins, Time Machine, Gorilla, Drive, and Flamingo Verb from Safari Pedals, virtual pedals for your liking to play with, and the price is affordable. So look it up if you're interested in these sounds. They're cool, they're simple, they're efficient, like pedals should be, you know. One thing, you press on it, tweak, and then you make what you want with it. If you want to test it out on your stuff, you got a 14 days trial, so just like download, test it out, see if you like it. That's it. Cool. See you soon. Have fun. Make music. Bye.